Hey everyone, Dave here back in the garage and I'm ready to pull some orders. It's a bit of a mess in here because I did another dib did auction and I have to clean up. I did get everything packed. It's sitting out there waiting for the postman. But now we've got a lot of eBay orders we've got to pull. I haven't been focused on listing, but my draft bank has been saving me. I've been continuing to uh, list my drafts for the last couple of days while I focus on other things. Okay guys, so it's bitter, bitter cold here in Florida. <laughs> a lot of Floridians are complaining about the weather. I don't, I don't really mind it actually. It's 53 and I'm okay with it. I think that's a decent temperature. I'm still in shorts and a t-shirt and have my garage door open. So I guess I can handle the cold a little bit still. I'm sure it'll get harder the longer I live here. I still got a little bit of that Northern blood in me. Uh, okay, so let's pull some orders. We did get like 16, nothing crazy, but I did sell Twilight Zone and I have, hmm, I gotta sort through this because I have a personal copy of Twilight Zone. Oh, that's the personal one, then that's mine. So I have a couple copies of Twilight Zone. This looks like the one that sold. No, that's the 28 disc set, but it almost, I don't know. I'm going to go over and look at the picture. That might be it. That might be it. Let's see here. This is my favorite show, guys, of all time, The Twilight Zone. There is no greater show. The old one, the one from the 50s and 60s. Is this it? This is it. It just like looks all shiny in the pictures. So I sold that for $32.99 plus shipping. It's the complete series. I'm, I would have kept it, but I already have it. So I decided I didn't need to keep it. Uh, but yeah, 32 bucks, and I paid, what did I pay for that, like two bucks? So one, one or two bucks, I think it was one dollar. It was at a sale with Carrie and Don. I can't remember if it was one or two dollars, but it was cheap. Uh, I think it actually was one, now that I'm remembering, because she had a sign up that said movies, one dollar, and I asked her, and she said, yeah, that was included. And then I took a page out of the Commonwealth Pickers book and sold some Tupperware. It's a little Tupperware pitcher. It's like reddish orange, and I sold that over on eBay for ten eighty. Although I probably should have put it on Dave's Kitchen Market, but uh, I had already listed it on eBay, so whatever. Ten eighty plus shipping, and I think I paid a dollar for it. Really, just a trip. Might have been two dollars. Should troll Kevin because I sent him a picture and said, "Look what I got." <laughs> uh, okay, I have. Okay, so I have two sales. One's a buyer briar thingy. I need to list the rest of these. Christmas is coming, and I still have like ten I haven't listed. I should focus on that today. This little Santa Claus sold. Buyer's Choice Kindles sold for uh, 18 bucks plus shipping. I paid five a piece on those. So I paid up a little, but I knew they'd sell and sell fast this time of year. And I think I'm officially in the profit on them at this point. So this next item is interesting though. It is a Brooks Brothers tray. And I went live with it yesterday, sold instantly, which I was concerned about. Maybe I should have done some more research. I saw one Brooks Brothers tray that was listed for like $500. It wasn't this one and it wasn't wood, it was metal. This one is wood, it is vintage, got the vintage Brooks Brother thing there. I listed it at what I thought was high at $40 and it sold instantly. It says Mr. Fagan and Oliver, Oliver Twist. Mr. Fagan took the opportunity of reading Oliver, blah, blah, blah. So this is old, it's interesting. I paid about a dollar for it. And I got 40, so I'm not gonna fuss, but it's possible it was worth a lot more. I could not find the same one listed anywhere. And there was other Brooks Brothers trays though listed for like 20 bucks. And that's why I was kind of torn because there's some Brooks Brothers trays that are selling for like 20 that were wooden. There's that one that's listed for like five, 600 that was metal. And then mine was a completely different wooden one, looked different in every way from the ones that are listed for 20. So where do you list it? I doubled the price of the other wooden ones, but I didn't think I should approach the four or $500, but maybe I should have just listed it at a hundred or 200 and just seen what happened. <sighs> oh, well, I can't live in the past. It's still like a buck into 40 in a day. So I'm not gonna complain. I did sell a model and uh, let's see if I can just spot it with my eyes. Here. Oh, I think I see it. So, the models, I went to the flea market and I spent, I think, $100 on a box of models. And the first one I sold, I sold for, you guys were here, was it 65 bucks or 70? Uh, it sold pretty quick for 65 or 75, somewhere in that range. Uh, and then I listed another one and sold it for like 15. And now this one has sold for 15 as well. It's Valentine Mark One. So with those three sales combined, we should be in the profit. That one went to Jessica. Jessica is a viewer. Thank you, Jessica. I appreciate the support. Uh, and thank you for watching the videos. And I sold another one of the models. I didn't actually realize that until I just looked. Is that the same buyer? No, a different buyer. And that one sold for 20. So I am officially in the profit on the models. I have a lot left. I did a big pile of them on Dibdit during my live auction the other day. And I think I got 20 bucks for them. 
and it was like 12 models. So someone paid like a buck 50 a model. They can make a profit selling those ones, uh, but it helps me recoup my initial investment. So that puts me at like 120, about 150 for my 100. Well in, in the profit, you know, at least 20 bucks, 30 bucks in the profit after fees. Uh, and then I have, I'll show you actually, all these still listed. So that, ow, that hurt. That big stack there is listed. There's some in the Despicable Me bucket, and then there's a couple up there. So, and that's a few hundred more dollars, maybe, hmm, maybe two, three hundred. Hey, my phone's ringing. All right, so here's what's old. I found it. It's a Sukhoi S37 Burkut. A uh, little model, and it is new. It's like not got plastic wrap, but I checked all the parts and they are complete. Sold that for $20 plus shipping as well. Uh, up next, you know, I never found. I looked, I'm gonna have to cancel Mercari order. Mercari's gonna be mad at me, but I never found that Mercari order of the Briar, uh, Briar Patch Girl from Splash Mountain. I can't find it. I know it's in this building. I spent a long time looking and I just couldn't find it. So now I'm gonna have to go and cancel that and they're not gonna be happy. They might, well, honestly at this point though, if they were to ban me, I'd be like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> Uh, how do I cancel it? Refund buyer, uh, unable to ship, submit. I might get banned on Mercari again. I've been there. I sell so little on there though that I'm not too stressed about it. Here, I did sell something on there though. A extendable ear from uh, a yard sale. I paid five bucks for this, but it was kind of cool. It's from Universal Studios. I sold it on Mercari for 15. There's no fees, which is good. Um, you know, that almost proves the point I was trying to prove the other day. I think I was on here with you on, on Vendu. I was cross-listing that. So the question is, did it sell because I talked about it in my video or did it sell because of my strategy? I should do it without talking about it. But basically my strategy was price it basically at what it would be after fees on eBay. So if I sold this for 20, which is what I had it for eBay, maybe I had it at 18 or something, uh, it was gonna be around $15 that I got after all the fees and stuff. And so my thing was, hey, if I can do 15, basically covers for the no fees, which means you're not earning more than eBay, but maybe stuff will sell over there. And so I tried it with that, and sure enough, it did sell. So there might be something to that strategy. It might really be about when you cross list to Mercari, you have to drop the price, which makes sense because someone could just go over to eBay and see it's cheaper over there and just buy it over there. So it does make sense that that would be the case. People aren't dumb. They are going to look for a deal. Uh, I sold this. This is a Disney fairy tale wedding little Barbie thing. The box is pretty roached, but I got it. Oh man, I think I paid 50 cents for it. Sold it for $20 and 24 cents over on eBay. The reason I got it really was because it was in a brand new package. Even though the package was damaged, I was like, it might be good. And it, it worked out. It doesn't always work out, but it worked out and I made a profit. Hey, speaking of working out, I should. <laughs> that wasn't what I was going to say, but let's be real. Uh, I sold a popcorn bucket that I just got last night. Was it last night? Uh, it still has the popcorn in it, so I'm gonna have to wash it out. This is a Disney's, is it Disney? No, no, Universal did this. Wicked. Wicked, you got Ariana Grande and Elphaba. I, I don't know her like real name, but that's her name in the movie. Um, and it lights up and glows. It's pretty cool. It sold for $37.99, so I went to the theater. They had lots of popcorn buckets, but like my theater's doing dynamic pricing now, trying to make my life more difficult, where some buckets will be like $35, some will be $15. Some, it used to just be all the buckets for $15 back in the good old days, but now they're getting a little crazy with their pricing. And so I literally comped every popcorn bucket because my goal with the popcorn buckets, this probably isn't worth most people's time, is I want to get my popcorn for free. <laughs> That's my ultimate goal. I want to buy the popcorn, sell the bucket and have that pay for the popcorn and if possible, the drink. That's the goal. And so I went there and I got that popcorn bucket. It was $25, $24.51, like really weird dynamic pricing. Sold it for $38 basically the next day. So after fees, let's see what my takeaway is. My takeaway is $39.39 and shipping is gonna cost me seven. So my takeaway is 31. I paid 25 for the popcorn and about seven for my drink, so that's like 32, but then I also got points towards the future purchase. So I think it's about a break even. I think I got my popcorn and drink for free, which is my goal. Again, not worth it for most people, but for me, it's kind of a fun game I play. And I was early, I got there like 30 minutes early, so I had nothing else to do. So I was like, I'm just gonna comp all the popcorn buckets and see which one I should get. And then when uh, Carrie and Dawn showed up, I told them, hey, buy this one. I wonder if they listed theirs yet. They'll be happy to know mine already sold. I sold a guitar, a Rickenbacker, a Rickenbacker 
Guitar Hero guitar that I sold over on eBay for $23.99. The reason that sold for so little is because it does not have the dongle. There's like a little separate dongle you need to actually make it work. If you have the dongle, it's more like a $60, $70 guitar. I hope it's easy to ship. Let me look. Yeah, it looks like I can take out the stem. Eh, it might be a pain, we'll see. That one might not go out today. <laughs> it doesn't need to. I've got the three-day handling on it, but hopefully I can get it shipped pretty easily. And then I sold a Department 56 piece that I got at the flea market. I only paid a couple bucks for this. They have marked on it. 906 That's not the price, though. I don't know what I paid for it. Uh, five bucks, maybe, or less. Yeah, I think it was five. Sold that over on eBay. It's an adorable baby figure, where it's like this lady looking into a stroller at a little baby. Sold that for $29.99, plus shipping. Paid five, so, and it sold pretty much right away. Let's see if Mercari's messaging me. I'm nervous about it. I've gone down this rabbit hole of uh, car dealers on TikTok and YouTube. People like, like literally from the perspective of the car dealer, it's like, I kind of hate watch it, to be honest with you, because I don't really love the trade of car dealing. I don't dislike car dealers, but I don't love their process and the way things work. Okay, so what I just pulled down is a Sensi. It's a Sensi Lilo, or not Lilo, Stitch. It's a Sensi Stitch. This one I paid 20 bucks at the flea market, but it's in brand new condition. I, I was with Tina and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get this for Tina. So I did get it for Tina. I'm like, Tina, do you want this Sensi? She's like, no, not really. I already have enough, just sell it. And so I went and I looked it up and it actually sells for a lot. I thought it might. I had the dream and the goal that it would, and it does, it sells, it sold already for $80.99, $80.99 uh, plus shipping for that stitch. I'm gonna show it to you. I don't wanna take it back out of the package. I took it out of the package when I was shipping it or when I was listing it, but I don't wanna take it back out. So I'll just show you. It's basically a full on stitch sitting and you pull his head off, which is a little grotesque. <laughs> you just decapitate him to put the wax in there, but that's all right. And then I sold a knife over here. All right, so here's what I sold. It's a SOG Trident Assisted Open. How do you do it? That, and then it doesn't work. I'm always scared I'm gonna like hit my face with these. Got it. So that's pretty cool. That sold for a decent amount. Uh-oh, now I gotta figure out how to close it, guys. I got it, I got it. It's not in the best condition. It's actually like, I'd grade this, the grade knives, I'd grade it like a five out of 10, because it's got some issues. Like the... The snap isn't beautiful. You know, it doesn't snap as much as I'd like. Really the big issue is someone put a marker on the blade. You see how someone wrote with a marker on there? I did put that in the description, but that's the only like big issue. You could probably grease it to make it open a little faster and smoother. Uh, anyways, sold that knife for $28.34 plus shipping over on eBay. And then we sold some golf clubs, which it's like 50-50 if I pull clubs nowadays. Like I pull them, but I generally pull them when the, the videos are over because it's just a pain. I see one of them. It's a set of three. I'll just pull this one and show you. It's a Callaway Steelhead. These are not really a bolo, but I probably bought them in a big bundle. I don't know if I'm going to do that as much anymore. It's a set of three X14 irons, an eight, a nine, and a pitching wedge. And the set of three sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And I'll pull the other two. Hopefully I don't forget and just ship one. That'd be embarrassing. Uh, you know what's funny is this next item I sold a couple of on Dibdit. I probably could have sold some more on Dibdit, but I listed a few on eBay as well. And the first one sold on eBay. It is Zazu from the 90s, brand new in the package. Sold him for $20 plus shipping. I think I was selling him for like eight to 10 bucks on Dibdit. So got a little more than Dibdit, but took a little longer. I don't know what I was talking about. I get distracted. Oh, by a phone call. I sold a car. I think I was talking about cars. Ooh, uh, Lightning McQueen I sold. Yeah, I was just saying, I've been like watching people negotiate car deals and uh, it's always fun. What is your strategy with that sort of thing? My strategy has always been like, kind of be super tough. Just like go with a, a number. Be like, hey, this is how much I'll pay. Uh, actually, I call with a number. This is how much I'll pay. Take it or leave it. I don't really care. <laughs> if you want it, I've got no time restriction. If you hit a time at this month where you're willing to sell it for that much, let me know. And then I just let them do their thing. And when they call me back, they always call you back and they're like, uh, well, we can't do that, but we can do this. I just say, hey, listen, you know, I'm really busy. Please don't call until you have my number. <laughs> I know I'm mean, but that's that's just how I do it. Don't call me back until you have the number. And if you don't call me back, that's okay. So I sold this Lightning McQueen. 
This is cool. I got this uh, from Kaylin's storage unit. I don't remember what I paid her for it or if she just gave it to me. I can't remember. Kaylin, thank you if you just gave it to me, but I, I think I paid something. I don't know. I uh, sold that for $32. Mm, is that true? $31.99 plus shipping. I feel like, you know, it was primed to sell. It just had to wait for the right season because I've had it listed for like eight months and it finally moved. I think it's just because someone's thinking, hey, Christmas gift. I mean, this was, I was kind of testing these Briar thingies. I didn't really know their names, so I was just describing what they looked like. And they are moving like hotcakes, so I really should list the rest. Maybe I'll do that today. I've already said that. Spruce Bendable Elf wrapped in Christmas lights. 20 bucks plus shipping on that. Uh, is that right? Or did I send, yeah, 20 bucks plus shipping. So I think I'm in the profit on that buy as a whole. I paid $75 for like 15 of them. And what have we sold? Like six of them? for 15 to 20 bucks a piece. Yeah, that'd be over $100. So I'm already in the profit on that buy. I was actually, oh, and I sold another one too. Look at this. Oh crap, I never find those, found those sunglasses either. <laughs> I sold some sunglasses in the last video that I just listed and I could not figure out where I put them. Dang, I'm gonna have to cancel it. I've been canceling a lot lately without even like, it's really bad eBay practice. Like a lot of times people will like message a person and say, would you like something else? And I've been really bad about it where I'm like literally just canceling it, not even saying anything. It's terrible eBay practice. Uh, sold this Mrs. Claus Briar thingy as well. And I sold her for 20 bucks plus shipping, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. They all sold really fast. And where would I put those glasses? Man, I do not know. It is what it is. I think I just gotta gotta message her and be like, hey, I uh, I lost these. Good job, Dave. Oh, Dave's Kitchen Market will have launched by the time this, oh, look how bright the sun is. By the time this video goes live on Friday, that's my little uh, district marketplace for kitchen stuff. And I'm announcing it today, Thursday, on my uh, on my cooking channel, so we'll see how it does now that it's officially in the in the officially open. I cannot. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna find these glasses. That stinks. I'm probably gonna have to cancel that order. They were like some forty dollar Ray Bans, forty five dollar Ray Bans, and I know they're in here. I'm just a bit of a mess right now. Hmm. I could ask Tina to look for them. Tina's leaving town today. She's going to pick up her sister in West Virginia and come back. So she's going to be gone. I think she's leaving in like 40 minutes and to come back tomorrow night, I believe. She's got to fly over from Orlando, which is the worst. She's flying Frontier, which I literally, after I book her the Frontier flight, I get this like video recommended that Frontier is like being sued by someone. I don't know, is the government suing them? Someone's suing them. And uh, it's because I guess they have this thing where like they'll just pick random people who are about to board the plane and tell them their bags are the wrong size. I don't know if they do this anymore. It might be old news. They'll tell them their bags are too big and they'll say, sorry, if you want that bag, you have to check it and it costs $80. That's what they're doing or whatever it costs to check a bag like that. So they're basically like scamming people. I don't know. Allegedly, allegedly. Uh, and I, I said to Tina, I'm like, have fun on your flight today. <laughs> uh, anyways, so we sold one thing on Mercari and we sold something on Posh. Did we sell something on Posh? Let me look. No, we did not sell anything on Posh. So that's all our orders. How much did we sell on eBay? Let's take a look. It was 16 orders. And I'm gonna try to get them packed up before the mailman gets here in about an hour and a half. Uh, gosh, the glasses are overdue too, dang it. Actually, it says it's 17 orders. Yeah, 17 orders. I could go for some Twilight Zone right now. $656. Not anything to write home about. A lot of little Kindles. I gotta list the rest of these. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.